Hi everyone, I'm Marines, and in this video I'm going to talk about all backyard games for the GameCube. Backyard football is excellent for kids or anyone who wants to play something super casual. The game's appeal are the cute visuals and simple gameplay. You get all NFL teams, but only as logos, because before each game you pick players like kids will choose when playing on the street. Also the game is played only 5 on 5. There are only 20 plays in the playbook and due to the AI and the game's simple nature, the plays don't actually play any strategic role. You can choose whichever play you want, you're going to most probably score anyway. Also players move sluggish. They don't move like athletes in Madden games, they are slower because they're kids. Still the game is surprisingly enjoyable to play if you're not eagerly pursuing the game to be like a Super Bowl broadcast or a simulation like the Madden series. There are some nice details in the game that show that the game is a result of hard work, like the reflections on the helmets or the fact that players have stats. There are replays. The game isn't just slapped together, it's just tailored for kids. That's why it's so simplified. Anyway. If you have a kid or want to play something super casual, this game might work. Backyard Baseball uses the same strategy, only that this time it translates baseball into a casual and child-friendly game. There are again all MLB teams in the game and again they are just a picture. And before a match you choose who you want on your team. The controls are intuitive but lack the depth of an MLB video game because the game tries to be as simple and easy to pick up as it can be. Still, the game's visuals are great, and you can feel that the gameplay has been fine-tuned. Even if it lacks the depth of a simulation game, the controls and gameplay mechanics still feel great. And Backyard Baseball 2007 cranked up the difficulty, because so many complained about it. And now, some people complained that it's more difficult, and that's a downside. You can't please anyone, I guess. And even if you can change the difficulty in the settings, even the easier one is still pretty tough for the target audience, the little kids. Also, in game mechanics, there are issues. Hitting can be challenging even with auto-aim, because 2007 borrowed from simulation games. The controls are complicated for kids, because there are so many options and so many button combinations. The graphics also took a hit, they look downgraded and are full of bugs. Players also have bugs and the gameplay in general feels unfinished and half-baked. Overall, play the first two games, but not Baseball 2007. The first two are fine-tuned games that are simple yet fun, but 2007 is buggy and lacks the attention to detail the first two games 